Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2021 Honda Civic Type R, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hot hatchbacks have been around since the 1980s, serving as higher performance versions of their more everyday siblings. The 2021 Honda Civic Type R hatchback is the current apex predator in this very small class. It boasts qualities that would have been sports car material just a decade ago. 306 turbocharged horses, a limited slip front differential to put the power down, big brakes, and an adaptive suspension that enhances both handling stability and ride comfort. Even more impressive is that you get all of this performance with minimal compromise to practicality. The 2021 Honda Civic Type R is the high-performance hatchback version of the standard Honda Civic. It is available in the base touring form and a new limited edition that is capped at only 600 examples. Both models are powered by a turbocharged 2-liter 4-cylinder engine that produces 306 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. A 6-speed manual transmission sends that power to the front wheels. The 2021 Honda Civic Type R hatchback and base touring trim gets my recommendation since it has the same power as the new limited edition. That limited edition costs another $6,500 and its most notable addition are the tires which could be bought on their own for about five grand less. The interior is also louder than the touring model which get tiresome in everyday driving. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2021 Honda Civic Type R hatchback real quick before we get started. I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related build and price reviews. I've put links in the description below. Of course, the 2021 Honda Civic Type R hatchback is, has alternatives and it competes against other vehicles. Its most notable foe is the Hyundai Velocitor N. Though the Hyundai Veloster N makes a little bit less horsepower, uh, it's probably just as fun to drive and maybe subjectively a little bit better looking. I do like uh, the Hyundai Veloster, and I did a build-in price review of the 2020 Hyundai Veloster N with a performance package. So that's the most highest horsepower one, I think, which is 275 horsepower. Uh, a little bit lower down the performance scale is the new turbocharged Mazda 3. I just did a build and price of the 2021 Mazda 3 Turbo Hatchback, and that's a sweet car. That's a beautiful car with nice leather interior. It's about $35,000. That's a fantastic car. And then the model that started this whole segment, the hot hatchback segment, I did the 2020 uh, Volkswagen Golf GTI S in a manual as well. That's a very nice car. After I got done doing that car, I thought I really want to go to the Volkswagen dealer and buy myself a GTI. So a very nice car. So you can see I've done some videos. Uh, after you watch this video, why don't you go ahead and check out a few of those other videos. And yeah, even though I haven't done the 2021 GTI or the 2021 Velocitor N, I'm going to. So if you want to check those videos out, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Okay, so let's check out the exterior colors for the 2021 Honda Civic Type R hatchback. Before we actually go through these colors, this one being Phoenix Yellow, and they tell us the Phoenix Yellow is only available on the limited edition, we could actually do a little virtual uh, walk around. And you know what? I think the Honda Civic uh, looks kind of cool. Yeah, it, it might have too much wing and too many, uh, all the little sculpting and stuff around the body might be a little much for me. But it's still, a, it's still a very nice vehicle. It's a very nice looking vehicle. And I know it's built to a very high degree. Uh, so he, yeah, here's the Phoenix Yellow. Only available in the limited edition trim. Then you've got the, uh, the Boost Blue Pearl. That's cool. That looks nice. They had that on the home page. You got the Championship White. I like this color. Uh, you've got the Crystal Black Pearl. You got the Crystal Black Pearl. You have the Rally Red. And you also have the Sonic Gray Pearl. Okay, so this championship white, I knew something about this championship white. Something reminded me about this. You know, uh, I, I like to play Gran Turismo. It's a uh, PlayStation 4 game. It's a driving game. You may or may not be familiar with it. Uh, not that long ago, I actually did, I recorded a little bit of my gameplay. I haven't done it in a long time. And when I recorded the gameplay, I did the, I drove around Mount Panorama, the 2015 Honda Civic Type R, as you can see here, and Championship White. 
So if you'd like to see me drive that little vehicle around a little racetrack, I have that video. That link is also in the description below. So make sure after you watch this video, check out that video as well. Okay, let's check out the gallery. And after we go through the gallery for the exterior photos and the interior photos, then we'll go over the features of the 2021 Honda Civic Type R hatchback, and then we'll do the build. So here, of course, they're showing the limited edition, telling us that, you know, there's only 600 copies. Here they're showing the high-performance Brembo four-piston brakes. And, you know, honestly, we're not going to read all – we're not going to really get into these paragraphs because we're going to actually check out the features. And the features are going to be telling us kind of stuff like this, so it's going to be a little redundant. So we're not going to really get into it. If you want to stop to read some of that stuff, that's fine. But for us – Together, it's about looking at the exterior photos. And here we have a nice shot of the rear end and, you know, the the three exhaust tips and the huge wing and the big rear diffuser and all that other stuff. Got a lot going on down there. Here's one in championship white. I like it in championship white. Every now and again, I have seen a Honda Civic Type R on the road. Is that carbon fiber on the rear diffuser? Sure is. I don't know if it's real, but I'd like to think so. Uh, so you got some carbon fiber on the rear diffuser there. Uh, nice, uh, nice shot from here. They say it's got 20 inch wheels. Very, very beautiful. Love the wheels. I love how they have the red line around the wheels. I love that. Love the front end. Yeah, I guess it does have a lot of wings and scoops and angles and, and stuff like that. But yeah, I kind of like that stuff. I kind of like that stuff. Here's the, here's the heart of it. Here's your motor, right? That's two liter engine makes 306 horsepower, 295 pound feet of torque. It only comes with a six speed manual transmission. Uh, here they're telling us about the uh, the limited edition model, how it comes with the Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. And it does get some special dampers and stuff, so it's not just some tires that it gets. It gets some, spe uh, some suspension upgrades and stuff like that. Uh, here they're showing the Vortex generation uh, generators, the rear spoiler, giving you your downforce. Is there another photo there? Well, I don't know what happened with that photo, but these other photos are here. And they're moving along fast enough. Here's a nice shot of the front end. There's one in blue. The blue is quite nice. I do like it in blue. Uh, and then, of course, another shot of the Phoenix, of the Type R Limited Edition in Phoenix Yellow. Let's check out the interior now. Wow. Wow. It's super racy. Super racy in there. I mean, for reals. Very cool. You got your Apple CarPlay. Uh, I'm sure you have Android Auto in here. You got your digital uh, speedometer, customizable digital gauges, all that kind of stuff. You got an Alcantara uh, wheel with red accent stitching. You know, I wouldn't mind driving one of these bad boys. This is a nice little car. Uh, electronic parking brake. You got some some modes, some driving modes. I see some Alcantara on the shifter with some uh, red stitching. Here they tell you the uh, serial numbers. I don't know if this is... If that's for every Type R, or, or, or if this is for the limited edition, not really sure. They don't say. Uh, it'd be nice if the seats were like, I don't know, had some some kind of leather. It wasn't just all cloth. I'm just not a fan of all cloth. Interior, though, very nice. 7-inch display. It, it's nice. 540-watt audio system. It's a nice car. Uh, there's your little 6-speed manual. Uh, here you can throw your gear in the back if you're going to go racing, right? It's all about that. You got your helmet and your bag and all that, your shoes. Here's your little racing sport inspired, uh, racing inspired pedals. The Honda Logar is a data logger, you know, if you're going to be out on the track. And your last image here is a nice shot from the driver's, uh, seat showing all across the front. And it looks quite nice. Okay, so specifically about this whole Type R limited edition, yes, you get the exclusive Phoenix yellow color and gloss black accents. You know you get those Michelin Cup wheels. Uh, you get these BBS forged aluminum wheels. You get uh, other weight reduction modifications plus specially tuned dampers and recalibrated, recalibrated steering. So that's the stuff that you're getting for that extra $6,500. Okay, now, let's go on to the features. We're going to start about talking about the features of the 2021 Honda Civic Type R hatchback. We're going to start with the exterior and interior features. So, let's get into it. Let's talk about uh, the exterior features, and we're going to talk about the aerodynamics. Of course, you can't get past that big rear wing, and it's positioned near uh, roof height, and it creates downforce. There's also a rear diffuser, which reduces drag for high speed and confidence-inspiring track and for performance. 
I don't know how many of you are going to be driving yours out on the track, but it's ready to go. Uh, what else you got here? It says the vortex generators uh, above the rear window help channel air towards the wing spoiler for high speed stability and cornering. All right, so you got that, the vortex generators. You've got the underbody spoiler kit, and it's functional. It helps with downforce and airflow to the rear of the vehicle, providing incredible stability and grip at high speeds. Everything's about high speed with this thing, with this vehicle. And of course it is. Look how it looks. It's all about racing. Uh, engine cooling, right? We can see the front fender vents right here. Uh, they work in tandem with the functional hood scoop to enhance engine compartment cooling. All right, moving on, we're going to talk about design. And of course, the first thing I'm going to tell us about is the uh, limited, the Type R limited edition in Phoenix yellow. Oh, I guess they're going to go over all its components. It gets the limited edition BBS wheels. Very nice. You get the gloss black alloy accents. All right, well, I guess that's, uh, is that on the other ones? So they're, here they're telling us about the limited editions on the Type R. And then you got the gloss black alloy accents. I guess that's across the board on all the wheels because now they're not really talking about the uh, Type R anymore. So they're 20-inch wheels, uh, high-performance rubber. You got red Brembo front brake calipers. There you go. I mean, it's a nice-looking package. Then you got the whole grill design. Uh, expanded grill opening helps improve airflow and air intake. Obviously, and, uh, horsepower, when an engine makes a lot of horsepower, it also creates a lot of heat. And that's why it also needs a lot of cooling. And so, yeah, it's all about the cooling and all that. And they tell you that it's got the iconic red H badge, a symbol of racing, right? So this red Honda badge is a symbol of racing right there. Uh, now, what about those sports seats that are in cloth? They're nice, but they are, what, what is that, suede? I guess it's not exactly cloth. It's some other kind of material. Uh, heavily bolstered front seats in red and black suede effect fabric. Suede effect. Uh, there you go. There's also the sport pedals. Racing inspired sport pedals. Uh, and it, this is all set up for that heel and toe shifting, if you know how to do that. Uh, there's a six speed manual transmission. That's the only transmission available. Here, there's an Alcantara uh, leather wrap steering wheel. You got the uh, carbon fiber rear wing spoiler, so that's cool. Uh, that's very nice. Here's carbon fiber. So these are part of accessories, right? So these are part of accessories that you can upgrade to. You can upgrade to a carbon fiber wing, uh, which we will for sure. I love carbon fiber. If you watch my channel, whenever I do high-performance vehicles and it's about the carbon fiber, I'm all over it. Uh, carbon fiber door mirror covers. Mm, yes. Uh, carbon fiber interior trim. Yeah, give it all to me. Uh, carbon fiber hood scoop. And then you can get the shift knob, uh, the red leather wrap shift knob as a custom flare. I would get all those little bits and pieces. Uh, you get the little Type R floor mats and everything. So that was all the exterior and interior features, including accessories. Okay, so we did the exterior and interior uh, features. Let's move on to uh, performance features. Uh, and they talk about the 70 years of engineering uh, behind this vehicle and the Honda Racing Legacy and all of that. So let's explore the driving experience. So they talk about the Honda Log R. It's a data logger app that measures uh, track performance in real time. Uh, and you can uh, check this stuff out on your smartphone through Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration. Uh, so that's pretty cool. There's a, a driver information interface we call that a driver instrument cluster <laughs> usually uh so you can see there's a speedo, a speedo there you got uh, all these different uh, uh settings like r sport and comfort you can check out things like g-force lap times rev limit uh and throttle and brake input in real time so they're they're really making this all very racy for the for the few people that are hardly ever use any of that stuff here they got the three mode drive system uh, there you go. And so these modes, there's R plus sport and comfort. And what they do is retune suspension, adjust throttle response and change cheer, uh, steering settings. Uh, and then the limited edition specifically has a little bit different tuning, right? Recalibrated steering, different, uh, modified dampers, Michelin pilot sport cup, two tires, BBS forged aluminum wheels, so it's a little bit different. That's why you're paying the $6,500. Uh, and then, of course, no matter what, though, they both get the same engine, that turbocharged 2-liter engine, uh, 306 horsepower, 
295 pound-feet of torque. And that's all put into a lightweight chassis, lightweight reinforced chassis, all aluminum. Uh, there you go. Let's talk about the suspension. Did I skip over something? No, I didn't. Let's talk about the suspension. Uh, it says it's got a unique dual-axis McPherson strut front suspension. Uh, and it's got an adaptive damper system. And, uh, yeah, there it is. You got a limited slip differential as well. You got the triple uh, triple outlet exhaust. You got your Brembo brakes as well. All right, let's talk about technology features. Let's talk about technology features, and then we'll learn about the Honda Sensing, which is the suite of safety features. And then I think we'll be ready to do our build. So let's go over this technology features. Let's start with the connectivity. Here they're talking about the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Uh, so you can check all your text messages and do all that stuff. Uh, you got the Android Auto there. You got a navigation system, uh, which features 3D renderings of, of maps, of, of terrain, buildings, and road signs and stuff. Uh, the resolution looks all right. It looks okay. Uh, it's a, you know, about a $37,000 car. We'll check that MSRP here in a second. We kind of skipped over that. Uh, Multi-angle rear view camera, right? Three different angles, normal, top down, and wide for a better view of what's behind you. Uh, what is this? The ACE body structure. This has to do with that whole rigidity and the structure. And the. It says it's got advanced compatibility engineering. We don't know what that means. I guess it just means that, the, that it's got a nice safety cage in there. All right, so before we check out Honda Sensing, okay, here we go. St uh, standard price for the types, the Civic, uh, the Civic Type R, the base one, $37,495. If you think you want to get the limited edition, it's going to cost you $43,995. All right, so Honda Sensing is Honda's suite of, st of standard safety equipment. We're not going to watch any videos, but there is what the Honda Safety Suite comes with Honda Sensing. Uh, what else is there? There is the Collision Mitigation Braking uh, System. There's the Road Departure Mitigation System. And we have Adaptive Cruise Control, Lane Keeping Assist. And, yeah, that's it. So that's your Honda Sensing, and all this is standard on our 2021 Honda Civic Type R hatchback. Okay, so we've gone through the features, checked the prices, uh, learned about that I drove one around on Gran Turismo and done all that other stuff there. Uh, now let's go ahead and do a build. We're going to do our base model. Uh, 37495 is the starting price. Uh, I guess it only tells you there's only one option for a powertrain here. I guess we could also take a look at the interior. They have very simplistic photos, but that works. Uh, next, let's move on. It says to appearance. We can check colors. I think I'm going to get the championship white. That should be no surprise. Interior color, there's only one. Red and black suede effect fabric. Wheels, you only got one option. The 20-inch alloy wheels. All right, then. Let's move on to accessories. I said I wanted all the carbon fiber stuff, and you know what? We're going to get it. There's the carbon fiber kit. Oh, yay. They bundled it all together for people like me. That is $3,673. I want it. And we now have it. What's the interior package? What is the details of the interior package? Red interior illumination. Illuminated door sills. You got me at illuminated door sills. There we go. It's $1,112. We're getting that. Should we get the wheel locks? Let's go ahead and get those wheel locks too. For five, What? Exterior protection package. What's all involved in that? Uh, type R cover. You get a cover. You get the black uh, wheel lug nut set and the black wheel locks. I like that for $520. Uh, available on the Type R and the limited edition. Got it. Check. All right. Let's move on. So here we are. Uh, there's more stuff. I don't think we need any of that stuff. The body side moldings, the door edge trim, all that kind of stuff. Next, there's interior stuff so we've got what all season floor mats i like stuff like that let's go ahead and get the all season floor mats let's get that cargo tray this cargo tray protects protects all you know from spills and stuff back there let's get that cargo tray and of course this is all stuff that you don't have to get and this is stuff that you can get after the fact too at the dealer uh at the parts counter Ooh, i do like those seat back protectors those are nice let's get those for 104 uh, I do like those rear uh, passenger window shades. Those are nice. Even though I might not have passengers in there, I think I'd still want to fit those in there because they just look good. They just look good. 
Uh, we already had the shift knob because we did that in a couple of packages. And there's a wireless phone charger. Yeah, we, let's go ahead and get that bad boy. We don't need an engine block heater, I don't think. And so let's move to the summary. And the summary is we're sitting at, uh, where are we at? I thought it was $44,000. Actually, it's $45,000. $45,035. We started off at $37,495. Now, a lot of that was in accessories and stuff. A lot of that was in accessories, right? Look at the accessories here. $3,600 for the carbon fiber kit. $1,100 for the interior, right? $520 for that. And then a hundred bunch of, yeah, a lot of stuff. We, we spent a lot of money. Uh, in the accessories department, and that's fine. I I want to get this car exactly the way I want it. So forty five thousand dollars out the door. That's what it's going to take. Then that's what it's going to take. It's the car is just a little bit cheaper than uh, I just did it recently. A building price of the BMW M two thirty five i Grand Coupe makes about the same horsepower. It makes about five horsepower less. Got all wheel drive. Blah 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 blah. And it's about six thousand dollars more. But I like this car a lot better. So yeah. There it is. On that note, on that note, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. $45,000, put this bad boy in your driveway, your garage, whatever, your carport, wherever you park it. Uh, so, yeah, on that note, we're going to wrap this video up. If you found this review of the 2021 Honda Civic Type R hatchback helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the very next video.